Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to send an email using AWS SEA service. So I have logged into AWS console and once you have logged in, uh, you can go to um, AWS SEA service. Uh, you can see that right here since I had visited it some time back, but you can search it in this box and you can go to a simple email service. Click on that and you will go to uh, AWS SEA service homepage. Uh, you will see a bunch of options on the left hand side which we will see in a while. Uh, but it is important you select the correct region for this. So if you select the drop down, you can see that the AWS SEA service is supported only in three regions, uh, US East North Virginia, US West Oregon and EU which is Ireland. Right, so you need to select one of these regions. Now, once you have done that, the next important thing to do is to go to email addresses and get your email address verified. Now, this is the email address that you will use to send out uh, the emails. So you need to get your email ID verified. So in my case, I have uh, open source for geeks at the gmail.com. So I have gotten this verified. To get it verified, simply click on verify a new email address you can add your email address here and then just click verify this email address. Once you have done that, uh, AWS will send you an email notification for confirmation. And if you go, it would look something like this, which is email address verification in region US East, North Virginia. And all you have to do is click this link in order for your email address to get verified. And once that is done, you will see verification status as verified over here, right? So once you see this verified, you can use this email address to send out the mails. Now, once your email address is verified, uh, the next thing that we would need uh, to provide AWS SEA service is a JSON file, uh, which consists of template. So the template uh, structure consists of template, which is the outer body. Uh, then it has template name, which is a unique identifier. It has a subject part. Uh, it has the text part and it has the HTML part. Now generally uh, most of the browsers or email services support HTML part. So this is something that gets used. But if certain uh, SMTP servers does not support it, then the text part will get used. Right. But for most of the use cases, HTML part will get used. Now uh, there's something interesting for you to note here is the username. Uh, you can see uh, how I have provided it in the curl braces. Now this is used to templatize your template. So you can provide this value at runtime and your email will be sent with this value replaced with the actual value uh, that you will put here, right? So I have just used a simple uh, username here that will be replaced by the username that I will send uh, when I am calling the ACS service to send out the email. So we will see that in some time, but what I wanted you to see here is that you can parameterize your email template uh, that is sent, right? Now, if you notice this HTML part, this is a JSON escaped format. So you could have a separate HTML version. So this is the HTML version that uh, I have created. It's a simple, it has a title, it has a body. In the body, again, you just have a username and a parameterized username that is against will be sent uh, uh, set at the runtime and it is inside the h1 tag right so to json escape this just copy this go to your browser just go to any any google site and just type json escape and once you click on that just go to any site that lets you do this so copy this and just say escape and once you have done that just copy this value and replace it in the JSON template in the HTML part, right? So you just remove this part and add the JSON escape version of it. So the template is now ready. Uh, so just to summarize, you have a template name, you have a subject part, you have a text part, you have an HTML part and the subject text and HTML part. You can add parameters that can be set at runtime. Right. So once that is done, all you have to do is call an ACS uh, API to uh, update this template. So let me go to this directory. So you can see I have HTML and JSON here. So we just need the JSON. We have already JSON escaped the HTML and added it as part of the JSON. 
So to update the template, uh, you have to call AWS SES update template. Now, if you are doing this for the first time, then you need to uh, call create template. So I will just show you how to do that. So just do a create here. Now this call will fail for me because I have already created this template. There you go, you can see it says already exists. So what I want to do is update the template with uh, the JSON that I have created. So you have AWS SES update template. Uh, the input is the JSON file that we have created in the same directory which is test template.json. Uh, again, this is the ID that we have used which we will see in some time in the AWS console. And the region is obviously US East one and profile is OSFG. So I have multiple profiles configured on my local. So I'm just using uh, a profile name to distinguish the AWS uh, account that I'm currently using. So let's uh, press enter and you can see that it's the call succeeded. So once that is done, you can go, go back to your AWS console and then you can go to uh, the email template and you can see uh, that the email template is test template. So this is the same ID that we have provided in the in our JSON template file. And you can see uh, I had created this first uh, in, on August 12th. So now that our test template is in place, what we can do is we can go ahead and uh, write a code to send out the email, right? So I have already done that. So let me uh, run you through uh, what we are doing here. So again, we need an AWS SDK. The second line, what it does is it, it loads the uh, credentials that we need to call the SES API. So I, again, like I said, I have multiple configurations in my uh, local machines. So I have added my credentials in config.json and I'm loading it from there. Then we create an instance of SES. And finally, uh, I am calling a send email API, right? Which is over here. So you are, I'm calling send email API, uh, which is taking a callback, right? And the callback, we get error or data. If it is error, uh, we just print there was a there was an error sending the mail. Or if there is no error, then we will say send email succeeded, right? So now let's see what is happening in the send email function. So we are creating a param. Uh, and this param is something that we send to the send template e send templated email API, which SES exposes. So this param takes a couple of uh, things. So you first of all, you have two address. So again, this could be ideally any address that you want. Uh, I'm just using the same address as the from address uh, just to demo this uh, particular thing. But this could be any addresses or a set of addresses that you have. As you must have already noticed, this is an array, right? So you you can have multiple email addresses uh, which are comma separated here. Now, uh, as we saw, we have the templated JSON. So we need to send that templated data, right? So to do that, you create a map for called template data. And in that, you can just say template data dot username is ethakur. So if you go back to our HTML template, this username is same as what I'm giving here, right? So when uh, an email is sent with this particular details, this username should be replaced by ethakur, right? Then finally, we have a couple of uh, mandatory things like source. So our email will be sent from open source for geeks at the gmail.com. And we have already verified this. So there should not be an issue sending out the email. Then you have destination. Now destination is the same map that we have added two address to. Uh, then we specify which template we want to use. Now this is again the test template. And this is same as uh, the template name that we have seen or put here. And it is the same template that we see uh, in the email template section of SES service, right? So once that is done, all you have to do is call ses.send templated email API with the parameters that we have just created. And it will give you a callback, which will see if there was an error or the email data uh, of the details that uh, the email is sent to. So depending on that, we are calling our original callback method, which is uh, this function and it will be called on print the appropriate statements. So let's go ahead and try to execute this and see what is happening. So let me clear the screen out and I will just say node and it is email ses.js. 
and you can see it says successfully send the email and uh, as you can see here uh, it, it prints the email data that we received from the uh, API callback and it, it gives you what is the request ID and what is the message ID that is sent and finally it prints send mail succeeded which is this. So our email has been successfully sent. Let's go ahead and check our email if we have gotten it. So there we go. You can see test email for username ethakur. Again, let's go back to our JSON and let's see the subject. You can see test email for username uh, and the placeholder username. And you can see that this has been replaced by ethakur, which I have added over here. So you can see that that is there. Once you click on it, you can see that this is an H1 tag. That's why it's appearing bold. And again, the ethakur in the body uh, or the username in the body is replaced by ethakur, right? So uh, just one last thing before we sign off, uh, make sure to check your uh, email in the spam folder because since this is sent by SES, Gmail might sometime uh, mark your email as spam. So if you are not able to see the email, just go to the spam folder and make sure you are you are able to see that email there, right? So uh, that's all for SES and I hope uh, you understood how you can send an templated email using AWS SES service, right? So thank you and let me know if you have any questions.